Hey, what's up everyone? My name's Akaris, welcome back to the channel. And today I just wanted to talk about something that I've been seeing go around a little bit online recently that I think needs addressing, and that is some criticism over Mr. Beast and his most recent video, the real life recreation of Squid Game. Now, if you haven't seen the video and you don't know what I'm talking about, please go check it out. It is very, very impressive that they were able to recreate all of that in real life. I would definitely like to see some sort of behind the scenes thing about how they did that. I think that would be very interesting. But anyways, back to the video. So with the release of this video and with the release of some of the information surrounding the making of it, there's been a lot of criticism over Mr. Beast and his sort of practices on his YouTube channel, I guess. And I'm going to go over a few of these arguments today and explain why they're just wrong. You're obviously allowed to have your own opinion. And I'm not going to go over some of the more, I don't know, reasonable ones, I guess. I'm just going to go over the ones that I personally think don't have any salt to them. So so the first argument that comes up a lot on Twitter and Reddit and yada 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 is if Mr. Beast was really a good guy, he wouldn't give away money on video, he would just do it. Now I think that the thought process behind this is, you know, decent. Mr. Beast videos can be a little overly elaborate and clickbaity sometimes, and, and that's a fair argument. But what I don't think is fair is saying that he should just give money away and not make videos on it. Because let me raise you this question, where do you think he gets the money from? from? Does it just appear out of thin air? Oh no, that's right. It comes from the videos that he makes. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, so I don't know how you can argue that he shouldn't make videos on it and just give away the money when if he didn't make the videos, he wouldn't have the money to give away in the first place. You gotta understand that the reason he's making videos while giving away these things is that so he can generate more money to pour into the next video. And this is actually something that Mr. Beast has explained himself multiple times in the past that based Basically, most of the profit from each video that he does just goes into making the next video, with only a small portion of the profits being used to pay, you know, prizes and the salaries of everyone that works on those videos. Because I'm pretty sure, once again, if you go and watch the Squid Game in Real Life video, you can see that there were a lot of people involved in that, pretty obviously. Mr. Beast himself has said that I believe it took around three million dollars to make that video, so uh... Yeah. All right, the second argument, and this one is a little bit more specific to the Squid Game video, and that's that uh, Squid Game is a TV show about basically why capitalism is bad, and that he kind of missed the point of that by, you know, spending $3 million making a real-life recreation of it. And I want to say, if you think that, uh, I think you've kind of missed how TV shows work, because as I've said before with Mr. Beast's whole policy of not really taking much profit off of his videos and just pouring it back into the next one, well, I, I just said it, there's probably not going to be a lot of profit off of that video going to them directly. And you also have to think, the actual Squid Game TV show, while yes, it was kind of a surprised hit, they wouldn't have made that show if it wasn't going to make money. I mean, if you just look at some of the estimates of the numbers, that show cost $21 million to make, and so far it's made about, mm, let me see, uh, $900 million. And I can almost guarantee you that that $900 million is not going into charity or into making the next video that's going to promote a charity. Another thing that people have been accusing Mr. Beast of a lot recently is plagiarizing the show. And, uh, you know, I think that that is a little more valid of an argument. I mean, it pretty much is an exact recreation, but it's also not really a valid argument because literally the creator of Squid Game has gone on record saying that he's perfectly fine with it, he doesn't care, he actually thinks that Mr. Beast's version will get a lot of new people to go and watch the show. You're saying that he plagiarized it, but literally the guy who created the original is perfectly fine with it. Yeah, you know, I just don't really get people. I think a lot of this kind of uh, criticism is just honestly coming out of jealousy. I mean, there's no real way to say it. You know, we all wish that we could go on a Mr. Beast video and win half a million dollars, but I think it's kind of ridiculous to take that out on a guy who's literally dedicated his entire career to helping people. A guy who literally has a separate YouTube channel with almost 7 million subscribers that is solely dedicated to raising money for and promoting a charity. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. You know, make sure to like and subscribe, and uh, my name's Akiris, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.